Hey, what's up, YouTubers? How you guys doing today? So, uh, this video that I'm putting together right now, I'm going to be talking about Insert Coin more in depth. Uh, I just don't feel like I did the last video any justice, um, and so I'm going to focus on the the better points of the ROM rather than just you know everything else about it. Okay, so. Um, the first time I installed this ROM, I did an improper install, which um, I, I was such in a rush to install it and I was so busy that I didn't actually notice. When you install this ROM and you and uh, Aroma installer opens up, the, the certain things that's checked in the beginning are things that it's asking you if you want removed. So um, I accidentally removed Google Plus and those types of things. And therefore, uh, that's why I had a problem with the blink feed of not, you know, having um, Google Plus uh, like in my blink feed, which it should have. But that's just because I had actually removed the plugin myself. So when it gets to the screen of what HTC services you want removed, all the ones that are checked are things it's going to remove. The ones that are unchecked are things it's going to install with the ROM. So now you guys can see right here, I have Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, these are service apps that are already in in here. So here's all my uh, Google Plus feed, um, Blink feed, which that's what Blink feed is for. So now I don't have to open up Google Plus to stay caught up. If I just want to read what people are posting to Google Plus, I can do it from Blink feed, which is what it's made for. Another key feature is the camera. Camera quality is really awesome. I took some great pictures yesterday when I took my kids to the zoo. And the Zoe feature is very awesome. I like using it. Um, here's one right here where uh, this is uh, the edit zone area. So when you go into your album, so like right here I'm in camera shot, I have all the pictures that I took. Or, you know, really quick you can see a, like a created um, from the Zoe feature, you, like a slideshow. So, So that's actually pretty cool. And you can share these with like YouTube, Facebook, Google Plus. You can share these little slideshow clips. And uh, when you edit them, it's actually really neat. Like right here, it has content. So these are all the photos in my camera um, folder on my SD card. And I can pick and choose. Now, um, if you want it to be, sh you know, to like actually be shared, it can only be about 40 seconds long. But that's not bad though, because if you want to sh like share something like this to Instagram, for instance, Instagram videos are about 15 seconds long. So you have more than enough room to actually like put some pictures, and it's going to trim it down to 15 seconds when you upload it. So you know, choose wisely. But it's still it's still a nice feature. I mean. You know, you have themes here that you can theme uh, the, the, the clip once it's uh, put together and edited. And you also have, um, hold on, you also have music, which you can search your library of music. So I can add any one of these songs right here. And um, let's see, uh, uh, something that's not going to, um, hmm. Uh, da, da, da. There's just so much stuff here. Mm. I don't know, I have like a lot of songs. Well, there's a few songs I've downloaded. I'm going to say a lot. Some people have like over 5,000. I don't. Let's say if I wanted to use this one called Young Folks. So, so then um, you can actually use a song in the clip.
So, I mean, you could do stuff like that with the Zoe feature. That's one thing I really like about the camera. And um, the camera, it just seems like that pictures come out a lot better now uh, with the lighting and everything. It's not overwashed, super saturated, or nothing like that. It's pretty... Um, it just, it just comes out great. Even the front-facing camera. I took um, a selfie with uh, me me and my girlfriend, and it came out way better than the one that was on her LG Vault. And um, I know that this is not the greatest uh, front-facing camera, so it was really odd to see that you know it could do such a crisp selfie. Uh, that's one great thing about it. Of course, sound quality-wise, sound has gotten better. Um, when listening to music and stuff like that, I, I do like uh, the front-facing speakers and how loud they are. Um, they're not too loud. They're not super, super loud. But I think right now with this ROM, they are actually equivalent to the 1M7 on how loud that that can get. So i um, really, um, really stoked about it. So... Um, but other than that, Sense 6 has, you know, it's pretty great. I mean, you could customize this grid, you know, even more. You could change the grid size from 3x4 to 4x4 and even 5x6. So you could even go that route if you want to. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, some of the stuff that I wanted to cover that was really great about Insert Coin. If you guys have any more questions about this ROM, go ahead and leave it in the comments section of this video. And, uh, or your thoughts. Also, you guys can leave it in the comments section. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys uh, like what you saw. And subscribe if you have not. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll keep up to date with... Uh, whatever ROMs come out for the Desire 601. And yeah, thank you for watching.